Every time, every time, I think class, I'm gonna chill, back to routine, line up the work, line up the clients. It's like, you know what, I need to rent out an office now. Literally, I just got home a few days ago. And now I'm off again. What time did you book it and what time are you flying? Tell them. I booked it maybe two hours ago and I'm flying in a few hours. I still haven't even charged my equipment. I'm at 7%. Yeah, Latif! I was like, yo, TC, change the lens for me. Obviously, Mazel, he's still new to videography. He's still learning. So he opened the lens and smudged his fingers in the actual sensor. So the whole image is blotched. Do you need to clean the sensor? So yeah, yeah I got a cleaning kit. Or S3 Mini. Or yours. Or S3. Oh, Lombardi. What do you think? This lens costs nearly three grand. And there's something wrong with it. With the focus. I'm supposed to board at one, it's half one. A lot, we're going to be legging to our gate. We're probably going to miss our connected flights. Which I want to. Like Sky Scanner, Istanbul, what day is it? Friday. Found the flight for 9.50. So instead of waiting, <laughs> six hours, we're not gonna wait. Not even half an hour. Straight to the check-in. So I went in, checked in. They look at my baggage, they're like, you don't have checked in baggage. I'm like, bro, you usually get that when you purchase a Turkish Airlines ticket, and they're like, nah nah. You have to pay for every kilo. How much do I have to pay? Eight euro per kilo. Paid 150 quid. This is what you call Ghanima seats. I have a lot of money to do with the Asia, the Lahab, or the Lahab. I have a lot of money to do with the Asia. Here for my passports, they're going to do a little. Add some crafts project on it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab my Libyan passport from Ahmed because he has it. And that's it, I'm done. There's no point me being in Istanbul no more. I'm gonna see if there's any flights to Kabul initially tonight. I have an Amana for Amana. Oh, see this bed? It was a sauna, man. So comes in, this brother didn't want to install an AC. Let's go. Libyan passport secure, not to the airport. Usually this whole visa process takes quite some time, but through a connection, we're doing a quick thing. And to be honest, I didn't think I was going to catch a flight tonight. I thought we were going to sleep, and then tomorrow, I see to myself. <laughs> like, uh, no sleep, no sleep. Afghanistan. That's mad, isn't it? That's mad. Yeah, he was just with us. Wallah, I thought he was with MATW. He was that helpful. We landed, there's no one here, fam. <laughs> he was there translating, coming in, got me the, the license for the drone, everything. And I'm like, and then he's like, okay, salam alaikum. I'm like, where? He goes, I'm going home. I'm like, what do you mean you're going home? <laughs> it was an awkward encounter. He goes, I'm just, I was just helping you. Alaikum so. We're supposed to go here out today, change of plans. Taysir is dead. Don't feel guilty, Taysir. As you should be, bro. You're a Bini Adam, Allah. Oh, thank you, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Provided you with a sajada. Yeah. That's literally the tasbih. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, You said, Bihur ra'du bihamdi. The thing is, for us, we're just seeing it. We're viewing it from an external perspective. We're just seeing, oh, there's uh, 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 positive charges and negative charges, and they come together, and there's a vacuum, and then, you know, a lightning strikes. We're just observing it. But 
we don't actually understand and comprehend the tasbih that's going on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, When I say subhanallah to someone that's alien, he's going to come and he's going to just say that you're just making sounds from your mouth. The tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth and then it's hitting the bottom and you're shaping your lips in a certain way and certain sounds are coming up. But he doesn't know that I'm saying subhanallah. Do you understand? But for us, we just think in a one-dimensional perspective, in a one-dimensional way. We just think, oh, but it's not saying subhanallah. I can't hear it say subhanallah. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَوْنَ تَسْبِيحًا خلاص. Subhanallah. <laughs> Western journalists would come to a place like this and be like, where's the woman? I can't see the woman. I'm like, alhamdulillah, no fit. Just chilling with the shabab. I legit feel like I'm on drugs. The amount of sleep I've slept. Oh, wow. Can't be walking around in this. We need a proper Afghan kit. Which one do you want? Yeah, this color. Two. <laughs> so there's two options. There's one for winter, one for summer, and then there's the the both. So we went for the both. And they say it obviously wants to be the same as me. He got the same uh, color. Hey, go, go. So we're getting a pocket collar, uh, buttons. Yeah. What is water ball? Afghan water right here, you don't see this every day. The amount of times we've been frisk searched today, it's insane. I think this is the most in my entire life that I've been frisk searched. Like in one day, in a single day. Like the amount of people that are believing the Western narrative, the Western propaganda, hitting me up on the DM. You're so brave. You're crazy. <laughs> Sleep last night. Apparently, they're gonna do a ground invasion of Gaza last night, but it didn't happen. They're just refreshing, checking the news. Yeah, man. Hold on. This is another situation. I think my phone's out of commission. It's been on this logo for ages. I tried doing all the tips and tricks. I know you're gonna say. Tap this three times, press this, and then it's gonna reappear. I've tried everything, trust me. It's not ideal. You know, it's a desperate situation when you drink an instant coffee. Well, lie, my head is banging. I haven't slept. I haven't slept. We're gonna rest and everything. Sorry. This one's for Taysir. This one's for me. Halas, now we're ready. Now we're ready. Now we're in Afghanistan. Afghani citizenship. Taysir couldn't wait, man. This is my one, but I'm not gonna wear it right now. Yo! Hey! Allahu Akbar! Khalas! Taysir was not waiting, he just put on, he literally changed the food to everyone as well, man. <laughs> Me, I was like, yes, man, I'd love to. I'm wearing my anaka as well, so that was another deterrent. I didn't want to take off my anaka. But then, even though I am wearing my anaka, I'm in Afghanistan, I should be wearing the Afghani clothes. But there's no change rooms. This guy, bro, I look left, I look right, and boom! He's changing, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? He's like, man, this is glass, it splits me like a globe, yo! <laughs> Big earthquake just hit today. I'm telling you, there's a lot of deaths now in Iraq. We're going there. A lot of brothers are advising us not to stay indoors, not to sleep in a building, sleep in a tent. It's very dangerous. Uh, I'm talking about like hundreds, maybe in a thousand people have died. Wallahu a'am. They still don't know. They still come to the news. <laughs> Still 
first look. Bro, I'm telling you, I think my mom's gonna freak out the most. <laughs> خير الخلائق وهو خير المرسل وتمسكوا بكتابهم وبأيه عملوا به دوما فنعم العاملين وتمسكوا بكتابهم وبأيه عملوا به دوما فنعم العاملين وبقربهم تحيا وتشعر بالصفا طوبى لمن عاش الحياة بقربهم صحب كرام لا يملون العطاء صحب بهم يحلو ويزدان اللقاء وبقربهم <تصفيق> I'm like, bro, I, I haven't been home. He hasn't been I, I home. Just, I just got home for a few days, boom. The earthquake happened. I was happened. telling him I haven't seen my kids. And guess what this guy's been doing? He's been trying to get married for the last... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> He's on the block. Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying to get married. As soon as he, he gets on the, on the field, he texts me, messages me, bro. I need to go to the island straight away.